It's the beginning of April. We've had three consecutive days of storm winds that have swept over the farm, making it very cold again after a few weeks of spring. I don't mind so much the cold as much as having to battle the snow. The strong winds have almost certainly brought with it some fallen trees, so I take a walk through the cattle paddock to check the fences. As the winds died down a bit, we decided to make mini cinnamon buns over the fire. And all of a sudden, just like that, it's finally time to work in the garden for the first time this year. To minimize the need for weeding, we first put down a layer of cardboard over the existing soil and lay compost on top. Thank you. 
leta. Ska vi leta mask? Jag såg, titta här. Här var en. Där är en. Ser du? The cardboard should ideally be a bit wet, and we probably should have done this in the fall. But these beds will mostly be spinach and salad, which don't need a deep root system, giving the cardboard enough time to decompose during the summer. Ja, släng på lite jord. Vad ska jag? Hämta lite Winter has returned. Getting some short periods of snow during April are not uncommon. Hopefully this is the last of the snow for the season.
As winter slowly draws to a close, it's a good time to fix up the fireplace in the kitchen. The wood stove needs a new layer of protective fire clay over the oven, as well as a new grill and a protective side iron. The clay needs about two to three days to dry before we can light the fire again. Since a few weeks, my back has been hurting, making it a little bit too painful to, for example, empty the chicken coop. It's now been almost two months since I last cleaned it out. I'm trying to go easy as I shovel the wood shavings into the bucket. I just let you know what I'm doing. Uh, we are uh, cleaning out the chicken coop and I usually do this about once a month but last time I did it was two months ago since I hurt my back about three weeks ago and it still hurts. Uh, I'm doing exercises and trying to get it to not <laughs> not be in pain anymore but um, it's okay it's it's been it's I'm doing pretty well. I've, I've done um, two buckets so far and I have maybe four or five left but this is wonderful this is great material to be de to be composted and then um, this actually we're going to give away to a composting site it's the Swedish church that are actually um, they have a compost site so they gather uh, green materials leaves twigs branches all those kinds of things from all of the cemeteries around the city where we live and um, they compost them on a big 
compost pile that they turn regularly and then they send the they sell the soil to uh, you know gardeners or people uh, anyone who, who who lives who wants to buy some compost soil and they're very happy to get this manure because this is uh, this adds a, a new dimension of microbial life uh, to uh, their compost pile as well as uh, a good source of nitrogen and especially the chicken poops which are very high in nitrogen and I'm using sawdust I think it's a really good it's a very convenient way of um, keeping it a very nice uh, place for them inside there it's very easy for me I buy these 17 kilo sort of bales uh, at the hardware store and I've used about 40 of them since I first got the hens so uh, what is that that's about I 390 or 400 euros don't know how much that is in dollars but maybe it's about uh, 400 dollars uh, so far that it's cost so it's a little bit of money but I think it's worth it definitely because uh, it's a very good material sawdust is a very good material to combine with a very high nitrogen uh, fertilizer like um, the chicken poops because it gives it a good nice balance when it composts because you have to think about the nitrogen to carbon balance in order to get a good successful you know compost going if there's too much of one thing it'll either stop you know decomposing or if there's too much of the other thing then some of the nitrogen will be leached out through the air or maybe even through the soil so this is really good I'm happy I'm trying to take it easy with my back uh, but it's going well mm -hmm. 